There are a lot of ways to make a sawtooth generator. There are already a few videos on my channel. And nowadays there are even chips, um, not very expensive, that can generate all kinds of waveforms. But in this video I want to show uh, the old school way to make a sawtooth. The principle from a sawtooth uh, signal is not very difficult. We charge a capacitor via a resistor. The charge charge builds up in the capacitor and on a certain moment we suddenly shortcut that capacitor. And this is the drawing for, from uh, how the charge is built up. It's not uh, built up in a linear way. You can find more info uh, on the internet and other sources. This is the way the voltage is built up. And here suddenly the switch is closed and the voltage drops from this high level to zero. And to realize such a circuit with a transistor is not very difficult. In fact you use a transistor as a switch. This is the um, resistor through which the capacitor is charged. And suddenly the capacitor is discharged uh, because we sent a signal into the transistor that makes the um, uh, that sets the transistor into conduction between the collector and the emitter. So in fact this is the switch here. The transistor acts here as a switch and suddenly uh, shortcuts the uh, capacitor that results in this waveform. Of course uh, the frequency etc. depends on the two time depending uh, elements and that's this resistor and this capacitor. When you have a high value resistor it will take more time to charge the capacitor and that will change the waveform. To make the transistor act as a switch I have used here a um, 220k potentiometer and I can set the working point from the transistor by means of uh, this potentiometer. I sent here into the transistor a square wave from this homebrew square wave generator and this is the demo circuit. The 220k uh, potentiometer that sets the working point 220 ohms um, potentiometer in the emitter lead and here is the 180 ohms resistor and here is the time dependent capacitor. This one and this resistor both set the time. Um, I want to demonstrate it now. Here you see the waveform at the output. This is the voltage present parallel to the capacitor. You can see that it builds up. Suddenly the transistor shortcuts the capacitor and the voltage falls down from this high level to zero. Here there is a sort of period in between. Uh, depends of course uh, on the time from the uh, square wave that drives the transistor. But this is, uh, this is a sawtooth. I'm going to change the frequency now from the square wave generator. I can also change the output level from the square wave generator. And what I wanted to demonstrate is that the working point from the transistor is very important. Now I change the working point. And you can see that the waveform also changes. So this is the most elementary circuit uh, to generate a square wave. Of course it's not linear at all. The slope is uh, here it's not linear and also here it's not linear. It doesn't fall uh, directly from the high level to zero. 
but that all has to do uh, uh, with the properties from this very simple circuit. And there are better circuits available everywhere uh, on the internet.